What is up? What is up, everybody? It is me, Thunder Guy Gomics, and it is here for our third episode. I can't believe I've done three in a row. What did I get Wednesdays? Um, yep. Can't tell. Look at there. It's some shavering. We're not here to talk about how ugly I am. We're here to look at books before we get started. Please, if you haven't done so already, smash the like button for me. Thumbs up. Um, please leave a comment when this is all done. Let me know what you think. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, that's the one. Please do so. Please, please subscribe to the channel already. Get the word out. We're trying to get to 700 subs. Um, we're not right there yet. Slow crawl. That's okay. Um, but yes, welcome all you Asgardians into the Thunderdome. We're going to look at what I picked up. Um, new books probably over the last couple of weeks. A lot of times I put my any type of back issues in here. Not a whole lot of back issues uh, this time. Um, uh, and just another little, another little cool something I'm going to show at the end. I just thought it was a nice little pickup. It's kind of comic related, but it's not a comic book. Um, so, without any further delay, let's start showing the books. I'm going to start off with the Marvel. Simply that way I can get through these. Because we all know from any other videos, I'd be doing all the Alex Ross virgin covers. Um, those timeless. Um, I'll name the character. I can't sit here and say no every single book because basically I just get them for my Alex Ross collection. Um, so, Alex Ross Lizard, Rhino, and like I said, I can't. I can't quite be sure what title book they put these on, um, but. We'll just kind of run through the characters. Magneto. That's one of my favorites. So far. it's hard to say, oh, that's one of my favorites when it comes to Alex Ross. But there is one in here I'm gonna, that stands out the most to me. Doc Ock. Kingpin. <clears throat> Electro. If y'all know who this is, for whatever reason, I'm drawing a blank and I continue to draw a blank. I think a nihilist, but I'm probably so damn wrong. Who knows? Um, but because it is off a of Fantastic Four book, so I want to say a nihilist, but I could be wrong on there. If y'all do know, please let me know in the comments. I think it's a not Lilas. It's the only one of this big group that I don't really know. Hella. Um, some Baron Zemo. Um, uh, Modoc. Got some of that Modoc goodness. Mysterio and now last one of the Alex Rosses which is I don't know maybe because of who the character is but it's just my favorite one of the group I love how it's done right there Dr. Doom love me some Dr. Doom anyway so it's actually my favorite one that they've done so far from his villains collection so i i love these but i ain't gonna lie i'll be really damn happy when they're done because oh my god those things are making a dent and a lot of because i'm getting these it's taking out a little bit of the funds i'm trying to get from back issue stuff but i really want that alex all set so we continue with marvel the current run, Amazing Spider-Man 23. I am all caught up on this now. Um, the only one I still have to read. It's been alright. I've read better, better Spider-Man stuff, but 
here's one a series that I'm way behind on. Don't even know if I'll get caught up. The Moon Knight, I just like this variant. So, Moon Knight 22, we cover the variant cover. I like that one. The Spider Man was the standard A. I'm picking all these up almost cover buys mostly. I don't read a lot of Spider Gwen, but Spider Gwen, uh, the Shadow Clone, this is number two. The Greg Land variant cover. Again, all those. Don't know if I actually read them, but I like to have the mini series. I like the covers. So, here was the cover I was absolutely stoked to be able to find. This is Venom 18, and I was able to get my hands on the Scotty Young. I love getting the Scotty Young covers. I got the one from the when Kate and Stegman was writing Venom and Scotty Young did uh he did one of those covers where he actually put Kate and Stegman on the cover with a big like uh so that was really cool to Scotty Young and now he's put We're back and I don't know, I just thought this cover was great right there. I just love that Scotty Young cover. So got that as my Venom eighteen. So now let's move on to Star Wars. Woo! Star Wars. A lot of Star Wars. Anyways, this is a one-shot book. It's just called Jabba's Palace. Um, one shot, probably a read it. Mostly there's a couple first appearances in here when it comes to Star Wars. You may as well pick up every damn first appearance that you can get. You never who was with Star Wars gonna make movies. Well, they say they're going to make movies. We'll see if they actually come out. But years even after uh, the sequel trilogy uh, and then even tapping into what would have been the dawn of even the Jedi. So who knows? I'm, 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 bla I'm babbling on. Let's show you guys books that we're here to see. And like I said, not this ugly thing. So High Republic issue 8. And then these, I've been collecting, trying to get the whole set of these right here. It's the 40th anniversary covers. So, Star Wars Bounty Hunters number 33, but it's number 11 out of 40. Because the 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi. So, trying to get all those, which is fine, because trying to get all Star Wars. And then Dr. Aphra issue 30. This would be number 12 out of that uh, uh, 40 issues. So I gotta lie, I have never read any Dr. Aphra, but a lot of her books just kind of give like whenever they do those uh, anniversary covers like this, because they've done one for Empire Strikes Back as well, just different things like that. And so I have a lot of Dr. Afro because I have to get them for the coat set. All right, what do we got now? Oh, my last Marvel book, I think it was a couple weeks old. This might be more than a couple weeks is because I kind of going back, I was going back and forth and I want to buy it and I don't want to buy it. Um, it's The Amazing Spider-Man 129. First appearance of Punisher, but no, 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 don't get too excited. The whole reason I picked this up is because after debating back and forth, there's no way that I don't ever think Thunder's going to be able to get the real first appearance. So you can see by the tag right there. It's just the fake assembly that recently came out. I wasn't going to get it, but I'm a massive Punisher fan. Well, original Punisher. Um, what they're doing with the character right now, not a big fan of, but and especially changing up the original design, I, that that's just effing stupid to me. That's just dumb. Just keep the original design. It is what it is. So the fake Emily one SM one twenty nine first. I, I I did it because I kept sitting there going, you know what? I think I'll ever get the original. So the fake Emily works for me. I mean, I've done that with. 
uh, X Men One, Fantastic Four One, uh, Amazing Fantasy Fifteen. So sometimes you just got to get the Flag Seven way because we're not millionaires, not me, anyways. All right, so on to DC, on to DC. Um, Batman: The Avengers continues season three, issue four. So season three, issue four. I actually do read these. These are decent because I was such a fan of the animated uh, show. These do a good job considering they're, they're written and they have art done by Burnett and Denny, who you know they created the show. So they do a good job of really making the inside of the book look like the Batman. So been reading that. They're pretty good. Next is, of course, the current ongoing Batman, uh, issue 134. Just to cover A on this one. I used to get all kinds of the variants for these, but, I mean, hell, they're already charging you $5 just for cover A to get any type of Matina or any of the decent, you know, not even ratio covers, they bump that shit up to six dollars and you know what? I can't I can see myself spending six dollars on one book when shit with the price of just living costs so much. You just get whatever cheapest cover A you can. The story's still there. Uh Flash seven ninety six. Been reading all the flash I went away from the flash for a little bit. I stopped reading it. Um, these ones, of course, are still being written by Jeremy Adams. Heard he's coming off the title. I hope it don't become crap after that because Adams has had a great run on the flash. I actually read a whole bunch of the flash it was when Joshua Williamson wrote it. Then they took him off the title. I just completely stepped away from it. But the Jeremy Adams run has brought me back to it. All right. Last book for DC, my current favorite artist on, out there right now today, The Joker, The Man Who Stopped Laughing, number seven. So issue seven, The Weeber Mayho, like I said, my current favorite artist that's out there right now. The Weeber Mayho variant. I know you're gonna say, Thunder, you just said you don't wanna spend six dollars. I know, it's got a six dollar tag. I, I know, I know, but I, sometimes I'll do it for this because like I said, I haven't read it. I started reading the story. Wasn't that good of a Joker story to me, to be honest, but Bermejo's doing every cover B, so I got it. On to the independence. Image. We got one. Uh, 8 billion genies number 8 to cover A it's all you really need right there the 8 and final issue of 8 billion genies so have all that now that's pretty cool ever read any of them I will read it but there's a lot of times when I know I do it with a lot of the miniseries if I know a miniseries is 4 issues you know 8, 6, whatever I'll get them all so that I can just read them real fast. You know? All right. My favorite new route, my, my independent, probably one of my favorite pickups of the week or of, of this this haul. Sat IDW, Saturday Morning Adventures, Dungeons and Dragons. Love it, love it, love it. One of my all-time favorite things that there is. I watched this stuff growing up. Still love Dungeons and Dragons. Have not seen the new movie. It is because it got a lot of bad pub. But I will watch it. I'm just not probably going to go to the theaters and see it. But right here, IDW. So I'm going to get this. Once it's a three or four book set. Like the other ones they did. They did these in G.I. Joe. They did them in Turtles, and I mean, I think I got all those as well, because it's just, these will bring you back to the, the 80s when I was watching stuff as a kid, and 
it's just right from them stories. So real happy to pick that up. I like that IDW is kind of doing them throwback to Saturday morning cartoons. Because if everybody is about my age and you're an old man, you remember when waking up on Saturday morning was a thing and you couldn't wait to get in front of the TV because you were going to watch Dungeons and Dragons or Ninja Turtles or whatever was going to come on. Super Friends, the Smurfs. Yeah, I said it, the Smurfs. I said it. I watched the damn Smurfs when you're, you know what I'm saying? So, I like that they do those. All right. So that's everything that's new. That's everything that's new. And if you wait, if you hung out this long, whether you're watching here on YouTube or you're gonna or paying uh, watching on the Instagram, because everything normal, I go ahead and kind of put videos out there for uh, each type of you know different media that people want to watch. Watch on my YouTube channel. Watch on an Instagram because I'll post the same video. You hung around this long. You're down to the last two books. My only backstock issue that I got was a Dark Horse Comics. This was Star Wars. Star Wars The Clone Wars Issue 3. Um, can, I guess it's considered the um, third ever appearance of Ahsoka. That is a really good price. It does have a couple uh, color breaking ticks along the spine, but I was okay with that because from what I was looking at on this, it looked to me, and if I'm wrong, correct me folks, but this is a newsstand edition where it's a Star Wars universe. I think I seen some other not I think I seen some others and it said direct edition right there. Plus, when you look at that barcode, it doesn't have like one of the three numbers where it would say like 311 for like issue three, first print, stuff like that. So, got it at a great price. Really excited about having this. I'm on the lookout for issue two. Like I said, this is three. I'm on the lookout for Star Wars Clone Wars number two, the Tano. Uh, second ever appearance first appearance meh, meh, probably not that's that Clone Wars issue one it's seven eight hundred dollar damn book at this point but when you get the two after that I'm happy so that's my main that's not old old but still back stock issue now here's the thing I found kind of comic related hopefully you stuck around long enough to see this this right here was um, Pounded actually in the grocery store Went to the checkout You know they put the magazines rack right there So this is magazine size And I don't know if it just got put out But it was in Immaculate Condition um, And it is you know, I'm going to show it The History of Superman 85 years of Superman Oh, you can tell it's magazine size. It's got a nice square bound, but the damn thing was barely even opened up. I'm debating if I want to read it. I kind of want to read it, but I don't want to do anything to that spine on it. So I just thought this was really cool. I didn't even really, you know, like I said, was it at a comic shop? It wasn't any place where comics was. I was. Doing some grocery shopping, get to the get to the checkout lane, and um, there's this just sitting right there with the magazines, and I was like, I gotta get it. I was like, I gotta get this. So, story of Superman, 85 years. It kind of covers all the, the basically the whole history leading up to current Superman. So, so there's that. I thought it was a cool little find. I added it with my uh, comic book finds right here. So. That's going to do it. That's everything. Please, please, please leave a comment. Let me know what you thought. Let me know if you have any of this stuff. Let me know what you made me think about that magazine size. Okay. And like I said, thumbs up. If you sub, if you haven't done so already, please sub. Um, and thank you for watching, whether it's on my YouTube here or you're watching on the Instagram. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, until we can meet again here. In our Thunderdome.
As guardians, always remember, stay worthy.